today I want to show you how to create a chat video using Canva. So a few nights ago I was on social media and I saw someone post their video of an actual chat video but they did not include a tutorial. And so I scrolled down and read the comments of people requesting to see the tutorial but none was posted. So I decided to try it on my own and it was fairly easy. I was able to recreate my own chat video within a matter of five to 10 minutes. So I am going to show you mine and I added extra to it, but just to give you an idea of what I created. So let me click. So right now I'm in canva.com and I do have the premium subscription which I love. I create everything in Canva from party invitations to instructional design documents, videos, logos, um, presentations. There's so many things that you can create in Canva. So over to my left panel, I'm going to click on all your designs. Those are designs created by me, whether I use a template and so forth. And let's see. Let me click here. And I did a little extra to my chat video, but I will show you what I created. So I'm gonna click here on play. And so this is just a mock-up of my business, so I'm not trying to advertise. Okay, so here is an example of the chat video. And those were used using a chat bubble, the animated loading, and I was able to change the color of the chat bubbles to match my branding colors. And it's not perfect, as you can see, there might be some spatial differences, which is fine. And I know when you are creating, when you're actually using your cell phone and your texting, you don't see the loading buttons for yourself. I just did that just to show um, an example of a phone conversation okay so let's close up out of there and so what i'm going to do i'm going to walk you through an example of how to create your own chat so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back on home and inside this search box i'm just going to type video which i already see is there I'm gonna click on video. And um, they give you several templates, but because I know what I want, I'm just gonna create, I'm gonna click where it says create a blank video. So here you have a white canvas, a blank canvas. And so over here, I'm going to click over where on the left side where it says photos. And I am just going to type um, cell phone. And so what I'm doing is I'm taking my corners and I'm dragging them. Because I want this to be fairly large so that I can fit my text bubbles on here. Uh oh. Then I'm going to drag it down. There we go. And so now I have that. So I'm going to go over to the left again and I'm going to click on elements. And so in, in the search button, I'm going to click on chat bubbles. How about, let me take off sale. 
and then you'll see several different options. I'm trying to think of the one that I've selected. This might be it. Okay, and so I have that. And so what I'm going to do is resize it. I'm going to move it over here. And the thing about what I like about this is you can change the color to match your branding. So I'm going to look at my phone and see. So the person sending the text is usually in gray. So if you have an iPhone and if I were to receive the text, it would be in blue. So I'm going to do it as if someone is sending me a response. So I'm going to change the color to like a light gray. That looks a little bit too dark. So I'm going to go, I'm going to scroll up here, click where it says new color, and I'm going to play around with the color wheel. Make that a little bit lighter. And like I said, this is just for a tutorial. It doesn't have to be perfect. I don't like the outline, so I'm going to change it to the same color as the inside. There we go. I'm going to click off, click on that X. And now what I'm going to do, because I'm starting with the end in mind, so I'm going to click on this. I'm going to do Control C on my keypad and then Control V. I'm gonna move that down a little bit. And I'm just, just for the sake of it, I'm going to make about three of these. But what I'm going to do, so this is a, a receiver's text. I'm, I mean the sender. So I'm gonna make it, I'm going to flip this to show my response. And I'm going to click on flip horizontal. And I'm thinking, let me make these smaller. Let me delete that. Make these a little bit smaller. There we go. Once again, control C, control V. Flip it, I'm gonna click on flip. Flip horizontal. Okay, and I'm going to do maybe I'll do three. I'll do one more just for tutorial purposes. And I will flip that horizontal. Okay. So inside of here, I'm going to put a chat bubble. Uh oh, this is the receiver. So I need, this is me. So I need to change the colors to like a blue. So I'm going to click there and see which shade I like. That's too light. I mean, too dark. not the color I'm looking for so let me go back up okay that'll work and then let me make sure the outline matches it and it does okay so now what I'm going to do is let me lighten that I'm gonna change the transparency just a little bit there we go and so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on text over to my left side. And I'll click on subheading. And you can always resize this. And I'm going to highlight it. And I'll click high tandy. And I'm going to double click it. 
and I'm going to use the minus button to resize the text. So I'll move that up here. And so inside the gray boxes, the font color is white. Let's see how that looks. And I'm going to bold it. I don't like it. So let's just make it black. You can do any color that you choose. So let's just stick to black. And the next one, so I just like, I'm a believer in copy and paste. And I'll just type hi. I'll just type hi Sam. Hi Jen. There you go. And then here I'll just uh oh. So when I do control C and control V, it might pull it up. So you just click on it and drag it down. And as you can see, that doesn't fit. And so what I'm going to do is just resize it, just for today's purposes. Okay. And so we have, just to remain consistent, so that font is at 30. I'm gonna make all of them 30. So I just highlight it, type the number there highlight it, click on the font size space, hit 30 and hit enter. All right, so I have my chat features. And so what I like to do is start with the end in mind. So we have a total of three chat features. And so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna copy this and we're gonna make about, let's see, the chat bubbles will go here, one, two. So we're going to make five additional chat features. So what I'm going to do is click on the bubble or I can go here and just click duplicate page. One, I'll do that again, four, five, and we'll do six just in case. And so this is the end. And so what I'm going to do here is go to the very first screen and I'm going to delete. So I'm going to highlight everything, delete that, delete, delete. Then I'm going to go to the next screen and I'm going to delete, 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 and delete. I know there's an easier way, but just this is just for today's purposes. So I'm going to go over to my left side, click on elements, and I'm going to click on animated. Well, I'm going to type in animated loading. Okay, and this is the one you can choose any one that you want. So I like that one. I'm just going to click on this one. So. Let's just click and see what this one looks like. You see that? And if I resize it, and you can also, but I'm not going to choose that one. Uh-oh, so I made a mistake. Let me go to the arrow and restore it. And so I'm also going to take that off because I don't like it. And I'm just gonna to stick to the one that I like to use, which is this one. And so what I'm going to do is drag any corner to resize it. I'm going to move it over here. And as you can see, it is still too big. And I'm going to move it. I can't remember if I moved it on this side. And so you can do any size. Okay, so here we have the beginning text being received, we have the second one. And so, as we know, you only see the moving, the animated loading when you're receiving a text. But I'm just doing that for today's purposes. 
Okay, now on the next screen, I want to show this button, but I don't want to show the loading feature, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do here is delete this last button and that text, uh-oh, I'm gonna click on it and delete. And so for the next one, so here we have the receiving text, the incoming, about to come message, then we have the message. And so the next one would be the bubbles. Okay, so we would need to, let me just make sure. So we would need to delete this, delete and delete. And so over here, which is this one, I'm just going to click on it and do control C. And then I'm going to go to this one and I'm going to paste the bubble. And so the bubbles, the animated loading, sorry, will go here. So here we have the text, the loading, the received text, the loading, and now we have the received text right there. And so I'm going to delete that last one because we don't need it. And I'm going to show you quickly what it would look like as a video. And so when you, if you were to download it, of course it would be an MP4 video and you wanna make sure all pages are included. So let's look at a preview quickly. And that's it. I'll show it one more time. And that is it. So a quick little tutorial and I hope it was helpful and I will post more. I love Canva. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at info at tandytech.com.